Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm halfway through the installation of this US 5000 Pylon Tech battery through the Multi Plus 2 and the Serbo GX. And what I've come up against, I've solved it now by buying a cable, but I come up against this already and I've found a way around it and I've just been putting in the right cable. You've got to buy a battery BMS can type A to Victron VE can. So that one goes in there to the back of the Serbo GX and lets the battery talk to the Serbo, which lets it talk to your app or your computer or whoever you're running it. That cable only has three wires that are used in it. So it's a, it looks for all intents and purposes like a LAN cable, but it isn't a LAN cable. But in front of me here, if you get a LAN cable and you chop it in half and you isolate lots of the wires, you'll be able to make your own cable. So on the battery end, you've got ground, is pin six, that's green. Can L is pin five, that's blue and white. And can H is pin four, that's blue. We've got blue there on the left, blue and white in the center, and the other one was green on the right. Then looking at the Victron end, ground is green and white. Can L is brown. Can H is brown and W, so it's pin seven, pin eight, pin three. So, you just mingle them up. So in this case, using, I think, RJ45 or what I would call LAN cable or CAT6 or CAT5E, CAT's CAT6 cable, you can see it there. On the Victron end, you put your green and white with brown and white. So here's the combination. Brown goes to green and white. Is that right? Well, let's look at it this way. So ground is green, gets mixed with green and white or gets connected to green and white. Can L blue white goes to brown can h blue goes to brown and white now if you mix these up it's supposed to be able to you know fry your computer in the servo or in the in the battery so i don't know i did it and it worked just fine this way a connector block a load of dodgy wires it's just one big cable long enough to go the distance because the cable that the US 5000 comes with, it's just a cable, uh, a data cable straight from, I think it's the link port side, so it just links to another battery if you're putting them together. So you, you need to get the right BMS can for the machine you're running. I checked out that the US 5000, that the Pylon Tech would work with the Servo GX and with the Multi Plus, and they do, but you've got to buy a cable. That cable is 15 or 20 quid. The LAN cable is free. Now I found this I didn't make this up myself. I found this on the Victron website. It's buried in the forums or in the questions. It's in there eventually, but you've got to suss it out. So a video on YouTube sometimes helps people out. So look at it one more time. On the battery end, ground, pin six, green. On the Victron end, ground, pin three, green, white. On the battery end, can L, pin five, blue, white. On the Victron end, can L, pin eight, brown. Can H, pin four, blue. Can H pin seven, brown white. Make a snapshot of that if you want. You just mix them together, one end to the other, like this. Now you could make up a cable with the right ends and just ignore all the other ones. So there's only three wires coming through, but I haven't got a the, the, the tool to make the ends. So I've got to do it this way and it worked, you know, and that's the point anyways, it's not running on it anymore, but I thought before I throw it out, cause that cable's, I don't know, gonna go in the bin maybe, or maybe I'll wrap it up and put it with the other Victron cables. Either way, I'm not using it again for this setup because I've paid for the right cable. Once I'd ordered the cable, I realized I could do it myself and I was a bit miffed, but uh, I didn't want to send it back. It looks neater having the proper cable, even though I just dangle things around like that. I've got to tidy up this arrangement here because the correct cables from here down to the fuse and the switch have arrived. So that was just basically used as a junction box because it's a 100 amp breaker. It should it should be fine as a breaker, in fact, uh, but I was just using it as a connector block, really, so that I could tie in. This is the power supply for the servo, but I really need to get all that tucked in and clipped back to the wall. It'd look a lot neater. I'm not having bare connectors hanging out, but they're only 48 volts or 50 something volts, so they're OK. Right now, it's all working. It's all back together again for now albeit temporarily uh, so i'm happy with that questions or comments about this cable leave them below please thanks for watching see you later